It's summertime in Texas. We're barbecuing, guys, and today we're barbecuing up some cabbage. Never tried it? Something you need to. Stick around today and I'm going to show you how to make a fantastic smoked cabbage to go with your next barbecue. I am Chef Johnny. This is Texas style barbecue and cuisine and we are cooking up cabbage today. It's not going to take a real long time guys. We're cooking up a fantastic meatloaf so when this comes out be looking for that meatloaf video right around the same time because that's what we're having tonight is meatloaf and smoked cabbage. So come in here close. Let me show you how we get this cabbage ready, what we do to it, how it goes on the grill and how fantastic it is when it comes off the grill. Come on in here, let me show you how I do it. What I'm gonna do here first is I'm gonna get two big pieces of foil. This is a 18 inch foil. 24 is even better if you're doing a cabbage, but we're gonna make it work. I got a small head of cabbage today. Here we go. Foil's tore off. I'm gonna take my cabbage, put it down here and get you a good knife fillet knife, something that's a little smaller blade that's good and sharp, and we are going to just take the core out of this cabbage, guys. See, when you cut it, don't cut straight down, cut at an angle a little bit, because we want to pop that core out. There it goes. Big part of it there, and I'm going to just get some of the rest of it out. That's ready, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some Gator Shake. If you haven't tried Gator Shake from Uncle Steve Shake, you need to try some. But I'm gonna take it, and folks, I'm just gonna pour a good amount of it right down in that hole we just made. Then I'm gonna take a stick of butter. This butter's been out here in the Texas sun for a little bit, so it's already pretty soft. I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna stick it right down in that hole. Just push it down in there. Kind of seals everything off there. Just like that. Now, if you wanna do salt, pepper, garlic, even fresh garlic is wonderful in these. You can, you can do it a lot of different ways. I'm gonna bring my foil up on the sides and you can see 24 would go all the way around it. 18 doesn't quite quite get all the way around. I'm gonna sprinkle a little gator shake around the out. This got a nice citrus flavor to it. But hey, get you some of this. You can find it at Bucky's if you're here in Texas. So fold that over. And when we put it in here, we're gonna to wanna to have this side up so that butter has gotta soak down into that cabbage, right? There's my first one. Second one's coming on right there. I have this pellet grill sitting at about 230 degrees. We're gonna get this on there and let it start cooking down. Time to get this cabbage off. Look in here. Meatloaf is looking pretty. Give y'all a look at it. If you're on the cabbage video, guys, search for this meatloaf video. You're gonna like it. See if we can unwrap this cabbage. Foil is still hot. Guys, you just have to take it till it's tender. It's gonna be up in that 130 degrees range, 125 maybe. If you have never had barbecued cabbage, guys, y'all need to try this. Let's have a look at it. There we go. It is broken down, it is tender. That stick of butter has ran through it. Look at that. That's how you want it. Just where it's tender as it can be. Some of that gator shake. Mmm. Good stuff.
That cabbage is great. It's tender, gonna put it away. Uh, just let it stay warm, put it in the warmer till it's time to uh, get this meatloaf off and that's gonna be our supper tonight. But hey, uh, cabbage came out great. It's wonderful, tastes good. Gator shake came out good right here. Uncle Steve's shake, you can find him online. You can find him at Bucky stores here in Texas. But hey, great way to do a cabbage. If you've never done it, give a barbecue cabbage a try. I think you will enjoy it without a doubt. But thanks for stopping by Texas Style Barbecue and Cuisine. Hope you like this cabbage. And uh, if you did, give this video a thumbs up, share it around, tell your friends and family about us. Uh, put it on your social media, guys. Tell people what's going on on Texas Style Barbecue and Cuisine. Thanks for stopping by, and we're going to see you all down the road. So long, everybody. How them boys put food away beats all I've ever seen.